there will be a ballot for the leadership and deputy leadership of the Labour Party at 4.30 today. In the meantime, take this shot. This isn't about just a simple recusal, Mr. Speaker. Here we have an organization that has paid cash to the Prime Minister's family and given him and other senior Liberals a massive political platform. That organization gets in trouble after gobbling up millions of dollars worth of prime Toronto real estate and breaking their bank covenant. They then lobby the government for a tailor-made program that they will be able to take an administration fee for managing. The government does them even better, comes up with an even bigger program, gives them a sole source contract, and the Prime Minister would have us all believe that this is a massive coincidence. Will the Prime Minister do the right thing, show up and testify at committee? Organization. So I have a series of very simple yes or no questions to help Canadians understand the depths of this scandal. Was the Prime Minister aware that the agreement that he signed with this organization was with, not with the WE Charity itself, but was with a shell corporation that has no assets and no history of charitable work? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, as was made clear at committee, the nonpartisan public service recommended this approach as the only way uh, to deliver this program in the timeline required this summer during COVID. Last week, I acknowledged that I should have recused myself and I apologized. But our goal was and is to provide opportunities for students to serve in their communities right across the country uh, in this unprecedented time. Obviously, the way it unfolded was regrettable, uh, and the program is uh, no longer uh, unfolding as we'd said. Uh, in regards uh, to aspects of the uh, We Charity Foundation, the Public Service worked to find the best possible delivery of this program to get student grants for volunteer hours. The Public Service worked with the WE organization to develop the agreement, and the work was done and negotiated at the officials' level in those details. We have consistently approached uh, as a way of empowering young people across the country the way other governments of all stripes have worked with this organization in the past. Leader of the Opposition. That didn't answer the question, Mr. Speaker. Was the Prime Minister aware that this agreement was being signed with a shell corporation with no history of charitable work? Yes or no? Right Honourable Prime Minister. The details of the agreement were, were, was worked out at the officials' level. misled the House during debate on Bill C-23, the Fair Elections Act, when he stated that he had witnessed evidence of voter fraud firsthand. He further argued that the matter was not resolved by the statements made by the member for Mississauga Streetsville on February 24th and 25th, where he admitted that, contrary to his original claim, he had not actually witnessed what he had originally claimed to have witnessed. In his view, this is not a simple case of someone misspeaking. He argued rather that it was a case where the member deliberately chose to take something he knew not to be true and present it as eyewitness evidence, something that constituted contempt, something so egregious it constituted contempt. Uh, there is a program that has already been designed, <clears throat> that already has a delivery mechanism, that already has a department within the civil service administering a program, uh, that is called the Canada Summer Jobs Program. And <laughs> Thank you.